Praise God. A word from the Almighty, and it comes from the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 32. And it says, Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my Father. For which of these of those works do you stone me? Hallelujah, the word from the Lord. See, what was happening here is the Jews had surrounded Jesus and they wanted to stone him, indeed. Why? Um, because they claimed he was being blasphemous. And you know, he walked amongst them. His ministry lasted about three years, from the age of 30. And throughout this time, he healed the sick. He raised the dead. He preached the good news, the life-giving gospel of Jesus Christ. Yet, they didn't recognize him. And if you go a few verses back, you'll see uh, Jesus explaining to them that they are not his sheep. That's why they don't recognize his face. So there are some people who have blocked their ears from hearing the word of God. They are not part of the elect. God already knows they will not accept the gospel of Jesus Christ. They are happy in their sin. And so I sit and ask you, wherever you are, are you happy in your sin? Are you seeing Jesus as an inconvenience? He's going to stop me from sinning? Or would you say like some of the modern people that being with the Lord is boring and all that? You know, that, that, that is just something you have to ponder and make a decision because we are getting closer and closer to the end of the age as life goes on. And someone can scoff and say, you, the end of age has been coming for years. But just remember this. You are one heartbeat away from eternal consequences. And, and, and one thing the Lord has told me to tell you and to remind me is that you will be persecuted for doing good. But keep doing good anyway. You're not doing good so that people can see that you're the best person in the world. You're doing this for the kingdom of God. You're doing this because you walk with the grace of God. As long as you're doing right, and you're walking with the Lord, sometimes you'll be persecuted, yes. And you, as a child of light, one with the grace of God, one whose salvation was purchased by the death of Jesus Christ, you have to show good works. And that's as a result of obedience, walking with the Lord, being baptized and, and having the Holy Spirit. John 10, 38 says, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. So how are we going to believe that you are a child of God if there's no manifestation of good works in your life? So one indicator that you're walking with God and you're on the right path is your works. So watch what you're doing. And if you're not doing well, and doing good, repent. If I am not doing good and, and walking with the Lord as I should, I should repent too, so that we walk in his ways. God bless you.